Okay, hello and welcome to this live stream. My name is Alan from SET English and today we're going to do a, basically a Q&A session. So I'll be taking questions from you guys if you're watching. Um, so you can type in the chat today, I'll be uh, trying to respond to you. Um, but as well as that, I mean, I'll, I'll talk about um, some grammar, we can talk about exam conditions, many things. So please feel free to to speak to me. I'll be paying attention to my phone and looking at the chat constantly. Um, and I want to get started really by talking about um, a question which is related to grammar. So I am a teacher in SET English. We are a school and we teach um, hours of live interactive classes um, every day. So um, we start with writing, OET writing. Uh, then we do OET listening then OET speaking, then OET reading, every day, four hours a day. Now in the writing class, um, we've been talking about passive. So I thought I would start off with a little question about the passive. Um, and people have asked me questions about that in class. Uh, and I've also had some emails about this as well. So let's talk about um, this question from the passive. Okay, so I'm gonna just make this a little bit bigger. And um, one of my students, um, she's called uh, Jinsi. She emailed me and she said, um, why, uh, she said, what is the indirect object? Okay. She said, I don't understand this. Okay. We've been talking about subjects and objects. She said, what is the indirect object? So I thought, um, well, I explained to her, and I thought maybe I can just quickly explain this to people on Facebook as well, okay? What is the indirect object? The answer to this is, look, in passive, when we use the passive voice, okay, we start the sentence with the object, okay? When we use the passive voice, we start with the object object of, of the sentence. So for example, you know, I gave, um, I, I, I read a book. Okay. So here in this example, this is the active voice. And we're going to say I read a book. Okay. Now, oops. Now, in terms of the structure of this structure of the active, we would have subject here verb here, object here, okay? Now, this object, let's just, let's just change the color of this. This object here is called the direct object, okay? This is actually the direct object. Um, but the question, the question I have been answered, I've been asked here is, what is an indirect? Okay, so that's the question I'm going to start with. I'll give you a quick answer, but if you're watching um, on, on, on Facebook or you're watching on YouTube, please hit the like button, share this video with others. It's a live class. Um, I'm a teacher and I'm going to explain some important grammar uh, for OET writing. Okay, because in OET writing, we will use the passive a lot. Okay. All right, so let me, let me change this. I read a book. Let's change this to um, the doctor. Okay, so this is OET class. The doctor prescribed medication. Okay, again, we have subjects, the doctor. We have verb med uh, prescribed, and then we have medication, the direct object, okay? So direct object is receiver of action, okay? So receiver of the action. The doctor prescribed medication, okay? This is, this is receiving. So think about it like this. Subject is the doer of the action, usually. The verb is the action, usually, although sometimes not. Uh, and the object is receiving the action in general. We're talking in general, okay? So, for example, um, I threw 
So I is the subject, through is the verb, object, I threw the ball. Well, actually, <laughs> this is a bad example because we've got an indirect object. If I say I made a cake, right? I, subject, made, action, cake, object. I made a cake. The cake would be the object of the sentence. Here, the doctor, subject, verb, object, okay? This is receiving the action. Okay, I think of it, think of this as like receiving like this, okay? Now, the problem with this situation, there is a problem, okay? And the problem is this, let's just be clear. Hello people watching, hello Shani, hello iJazz, welcome guys. Please feel free to chat, say hello to me, I'll say hello to you guys as well. So the, the problem is this, what if I say the doctor prescribed medication to... Mrs. Smith, okay? The doctor prescribed medication to Mrs. Smith. Let me just make this a bit smaller. Now, let me ask you guys, Shani, Palitha, Ijaz, people watching, I can see you guys on my phone, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm watching this. What is, what do we call Mrs. Smith? in this sentence. What, what do we call Mrs. Smith? So the doctor, subject, prescribed, verb, medication, object, to Mrs. Smith. What do we call this? Just type on Facebook if you, if you know. I'll be following the comments. Maybe you guys can, can help me out here. So Shani, you're giving me the passive, but that's not the question, Shani. The question is, what is to Mrs. Smith? It's the indirect object, of course, thank you. So guys, this is a live class, and Shani, really, really fantastic student, um, friend of the school, actually. So here we've got the indirect object, okay? Mrs. Smith is the indirect object, all right? So let me just move this up here, so you can see, oops indirect object. Okay, so I say that's correct. That's correct. So indirect object. So here we've got medication. Okay. Indirect is the, I'm going to call this the, the, the benefits from the action. Okay, that's a good way to think about this. Benefits from the action. Okay, so just to be clear guys, this here is now the, um, the yellow we'll have as the direct object. Okay. And then the other one we will have as indirect object. Okay, just so we can understand this. Okay, so why is this important? Why is this important? Well, it's actually very, very important um, for a number of reasons, okay? It's actually important for a number of reasons. One reason is this, okay? What happens, what happens if I swap direct and indirect? What happens if I change them, if I swap them? And I want to ask you, Shani, what do you think? Or I'll ask, um, this question can also be for um, anyone watching, actually. Type in the chat box. Ijaz, I think that's right. I hope that's, your name's right there. From Pakistan, nice to see you. What happens if you do that? Well, the answer is, let, let, let's have a look. So, the doctor prescribed... Let's do it here. The doctor prescribed Mrs. Smith to medication. Does that make sense? Is this good? The answer is no. This is not good, right? This is not a good um, sentence. So what do we need to do? What do we need to do if we exchange the objects? 
What do we need to do? The answer is, if we swap them, we have to delete the preposition. Okay? In this case, two. So we delete this. I hope this makes sense now, guys. Right now we have two objects, but we delete the two. Okay? If we have medication first, direct object, then we need two. Okay, so that's very, very interesting for me. That can cause a lot of problems in the exam. Okay. So finally, if we go to passive, so this is what the indirect object is. Indirect object is in blue here. It's the person who benefits from the action. Now, of course, in the... the the problem in the passive, in the passive, we, we need to think which object do we start with? Do I start with the direct object or Mrs. Smith? Do I say the medication was prescribed? Or do I say Mrs. Smith was prescribed? Right? Which object do we start with? And that is what I'll talk about in my next class. Okay, so I'm, this is just a short class today. I'll talk about this in my next class. So I hope it was useful. Thanks, Shani, for your comments. It's just a short one today. Uh, I'm going to say to all of you, though, um, my name is Alan. I'm a teacher at SCT English. We do four hours of interactive live classes every day. This is just a small taster of what we do. We do writing every day. We do lots of grammar lots of practicing writing letters. Um, in our school, we offer you four hours of interactive classes every day. We offer mock tests, three hour mock tests with a teacher. We offer uh, writing corrections, uh, worksheets, books, videos, everything you need to pass this exam, this difficult exam, okay? So my name is Alan, I'm gonna say goodbye. Hope it was useful today. And if you watch my next class, in my next class, I'll continue with the passive and I'll talk a little bit more about the passive. Um, but I hope it was useful today. I'm going to say goodbye. Take care.